All right, Shalom. We want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. <clears throat> double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Uh, salutations to the hopeful elect out here pushing the word in truth and sincerity, Shalom. Um, you know, today is just going to be like a, a response lesson uh, about, you know, the brother Mahaloya did a video um, talking about time to tighten up. And, um, you know, the spirit spirit jumped on me to really just um, do a response. Um, you know, I'm, I'm recording this on, on my phone for the first time, you know, so I'm having to my computer. Um, so through the spirit, you know, this, this is going to be edifying. You know, hopefully we shouldn't have no hiccups. But before I wanted to start, um, I want to play this clip for y'all. This is Kobe Bryant, fourth quarter on the way, way epic ending. You know, so I'm just want to uh, show this to you and then we just going to uh, roll through the spirit. But you know, it was, it was a reason, you know, why I had uh, pulled this clip to begin or to go with this um this lesson is because you know basically I wanted to highlight you know how uh, in the fourth quarter you know you really have to be on your A game, man. You know, in the fourth quarter you really have to uh you know play play with some intensity. Uh, you have to have that uh, Mamba mentality. You know, you have to have that uh, cannot be denied mentality, man. And we saw that with, uh, with Kobe Bryant in this clip, man. You know, they said Kobe Bryant scored eight, eight straight. I think he had like 12 in the quarter, man. And then that's that. That's how we have to be, man. We have to be, you know, on fire, uh, you know, during these last times, man. We have to be, um, have that we can't be denied spirit, man. You know, because Kobe didn't start out. He didn't start out in the first quarter playing like this, man. You know, as as the situation grew, as, as, as the lead um shorten or you know the game tighten man that's that's where he rose to occasion to get the victory man and and, and that's how we should be to the spirit and, and another um point i want to make is that you know you think during this Kobe was thinking like oh i left I, I left the oven on at home you know oh oh i left my lights on at home he wasn't worried about the concerns of this world man he was concerned about um getting the win and doing what it takes to to get the win and you know that that should be us through the spirit you know we shouldn't um you know whatever whatever hindrances whatever things that are uh, in our path that is keeping us from being in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai you know at some point you got to cut that off at some point you have to um prioritize you know prioritize what's what's your um what 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 you want out of this man what what's your end goal you want to receive salvation or you want to um you know be be uh be worldly man you know seem um, ha have that um acceptance in the world man because really, you know, the, the acceptance of Yahweh Bashim Yahsha is more important, man. That, that's that's why we have to tighten up, man. Now, um, let me just go to my notes here for this lesson. 
Um, we're going to start at Revelations chapter 3. Just bear with me, brothers. You know, this is uh, this is all new to me. You know, usually I do my lessons on my phone or on my computer. So I'm going to have to do these through my phone until um, I get my computer work. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 15. It says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of thy mouth, out of my mouth, man. And so uh, we, we have to be hot, man. We have to be fervent. We have to be on fire for this truth, man. You know, the same way Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant wasn't just uh, passing up the ball when he got in the fourth quarter. No, Kobe Bryant wasn't trying to go to the foul line, man. Kobe Bryant was trying to score, man. Kobe Bryant was trying to get buckets, man. You know, he, he was doing what it takes to get the win. And, and that's how we need to be, man. We need to uh start praying more. We need to study more. We need to uh, you know, do our videos, you know, fellowship with our brothers more, man. You know, get 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 into this thing, man. Because the is the times now that are short, you know, of Ephesians 5, the days are evil, man. You know, this isn't time to be on the fence. This isn't time to be lukewarm, man. You know, this is the time to uh put our put put our mamba mentality on. You know, let's go to um. What we got here? Uh, yep, Romans twelve verse eleven. Cause I want to get a um. Little precept, Romans twelve verse eleven. Or I'm start at 10. It says, be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing in instant prayer, man. Hey, and let, let's let's do a word search on that word fervent. Come. Fervent, having or displaying a passionate intensity, man. Passionate intensity. Let's go to uh Merriam Webster. Yep, I went I went here earlier. Yep. Fervent, very hot, glowing, exhibiting or marked by great intensity or feeling, zealous, man. So that, that that's how we should be, man. We we should have that intensity about us when it comes to that truth, man. You know, this truth isn't just something we do on Saturdays. This truth is a lifestyle, man. This truth is a lifestyle. This truth is, is 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 the way to life, man. And and that's how we sh that that's how we should be. That's how we should approach it. Let's go back to that Romans uh twelve. It says Romans twelve verse ten it says be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another, not slothful in business. You know, so so not dragging your feet, man. Not um you know thinking uh going out to the highways and byways and doing videos and doing all the things other things that involve. This truth is a, a burden, man, you know, because we, we we should want to do these things. We should love to do these things, man. Fervent in the spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, man. Hey, patient in tribulation, man. Patient in tribulation. You know, when I when I thought of that, I thought of that the clip uh, we had watched earlier about, you know, how how. uh. You know, you could say the Miami Heat was just uh, Satan and all these worldly things trying to get in your way, trying to deny you from from uh, getting your shot off, man, trying to deny you from scoring, man. But still, you have to overcome that like Kobe did, man. Kobe rose above and still shot it on him, man. And <laughs> that's how we should be. We should be patient in tribulation, man, understanding that Yahweh Bashim Yahsha is with us, man. And, and, and through him, all things are possible, man. So through Yahweh Bashim Yahsha, we can get our shot off. And if we stay fervent enough and if we endure enough, man, we, we can get the victory, man. Distributing to the necessity or continue, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality, bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not, man. You know, now let's jump to, um, what do we want? We want Luke chapter two, verse 46. Like I said, slack your brothers, you know, this, uh, if I'm jumping back and forth, you know, this whole, um, phone lesson thing is fairly new, like I said, but Lord willing, this is edifying so far. Um, this is Luke chapter two, verse 46. And it said, and it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished. 
at his understanding and his answers. You know, this is talking about Yahweh Shai. Because, you know, Yahweh Shai had dipped out, you know. It says, when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus to deal with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. So, you know, his parents was looking for him. But th this is Yahweh Shai's answer. And he said, and he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist thou, wist ye thou not? must slack it wish ye not that i must be about my father's business man and, and and that's that's what we need to be about man our father's business man because yahweh bashim yasha is the reason that um you know we are sustained man that we are in a uh, comfortable positions man that that we're still operating that's that we are still maneuvering through the spirit man and the only way we can continue to have these things is being about our father's business man because um the brothers in louisiana uh, not too while ago, they they um you know they did a lesson on uh, how not to be in the truth, basically talking about a fallout who fell out the camp, man. And this dude, uh, I I had seen the brother on a live stream before, but they but he had came through through the camp probably about a few weeks prior. You know he went six months off the truth, man. And that that dude was he was barely recognizable, man. You know that dude was. <laughs> He, you can tell he was catching hell, man, and and that's 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 what we should um, aspire not to be, man. We shouldn't aspire to be like you fallouts, man. You know, we we must stay about our, body, uh, our father's business, and we must, uh, like I said, prioritize, man, because there's certain things that we can cut out through the spirit. You know, there's certain things that that we can go without, man. You know, um, you, I mean, you you brothers know what it is, man. You you brothers know, but hey, certain things. You, we might just have to do, uh, you know, a slight fast over, man. You know, whether if it's, you know, drinking, you can go go a week without the bottle, man. Whether if it's women, go a week without without uh, you know, de dealing with a woman, man. Just uh, focus and uh, realign yourself with the spirit, man. You know, uh, that that's just um, some advice I want to give to y'all brothers, man. Cause hey, I'm doing the same, man. You know, I, I'm not to say that I'm perfect, hey, but there's cert certain things I know that I can cut out, man. And uh, let's jump to Matthews. 18 verse 7. Right. Matthew chapter 18 verse 7. It says, Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must for it must needs be that offenses come, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off and cast them from thee. It it's better for thee to enter into life halt or maimed rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire, man. So, hey, essentially, man, if, if there's things in your life or if, if there's, you know, leaven in your spirit or things that, um, you know, that you can do without, man, you know, it is rather to just get get rid of it and, and stay in the spirit than to uh, let, let these things consume you, man. Or, or to let these things, you know, get you to fall out the truth, man. Because, hey, not, nothing in this world is worth falling out the truth over, man. And that that's just plain and simple. Matthew 18, verse 9, it says, If not I offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. For it is better for thee to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire, man. Hey, <laughs> that, hey that, that that's the time that we live in, there, man. Certain things got to get cut out, brothers. You know, certain things we have to... um. Hey, learn learn how to do without or just certain things that we need to um uh how do you say um uh, just just have less importance of man certain things we put you know more than others man but nothing like I said nothing should be over this truth man you know this is the fourth quarter it's time to tighten up and you know and I pray that the Lord uh, give, gives us the spirit to endure and but with that I want to give all praises honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash. A double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders, a great millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.